hey guys welcome back to another video and today in this video we're gonna talk about parabolic SAR indicator which is basically used in order to find the direction of trend and also see the trend reversal okay SAR which basically means stop and reverse and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how this indicator works and how you can use it in order to find the trend and confirm if the trend has successfully reversed and in the end we're gonna combine it with the price action here and see how you can use this indicator in order to make some profits in forex so please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be the first one to know whenever we upload new content and also please hit the bell icon so that you can get notified without any further ado let's get started so first thing is what we need to understand how parabolic SAR indicator works okay the working of parabolic SAR indicator depends upon two factors the first factor is the acceleration factor of the candle okay and the second factor is the highs and lows it takes the highs and lows and also it takes into account the acceleration factor of a candle and then it plots or renders a circle a very small circle at below or above the candle okay so by the acceleration factor we basically mean that how much faster the market is moving or how much with how much impulse the market is moving so if the market is moving with a lot of impulse that would mean that it has a higher acceleration factor okay and if a market is moving slowly then it means the market has less acceleration factor all right so basically acceleration factor is just like the impulsive move if the move is impulsive or not okay so after taking into the account these two factors what it does is it renders a dot or a very very small circle at bottom or above the candle the circle at the bottom of the candle represents that or tells us that the trend is bullish okay and the circle at the top of a candle basically repre represents that the trend is going bearish now you you should keep in mind that you cannot confirm the direction of trend with just a single dot okay so a single candle would not be able to tell you the complete direction of the trend you need at least three dots in order to confirm if the trend is going bullish or bearish or you, uh, in order to see if the trend reversal has successfully happened okay so here you can see that we have discussed about how this indicator works and what it basically does it tells us about the direction of the trend and lets us know if the trend is going bullish or bearish now let's move on and see it on the chart okay Now let's understand it through the example on the charts. So here we can see that basically these three dots are above the candle. Okay. So all these three dots represent that the bearish trend is prevailing in the market. And we can see the formation of these continuous dots above the candle, which basically confirms our theory that or our analysis that the market is going bearish okay and we can see the formation of these two dots below the candles but as i said in the beginning that you don't need to judge the uh, rever trend reversal by just two dots you need, need at least three dots in order to confirm if the trend has successfully reversed or not so the formation of these two dots basically is a minor retracement but not a trend reversal okay and if we move forward you can see that again the formation of these dots above the candle and these dots continue to form above the candles till here okay and after that we can see the formation of these three dots and these dots are below the candle but and there are three dots which are below the candle which means that it was going bearish but from here the market decided to go bullish okay and with the formation of these three dots below the candles we can confirm that now the market is going bullish okay so basically bullish trend in uh by using ser indicator it looks like this okay and there is formation of continuous dots below the candles and the bearish trend it, by using the ser indicator basically looks like this or this okay or something similar to this in which 
the candles are forming above or, or the dots are forming above the candles okay so now let's go through an example of the price action or how you can use SAR indicator along with the price action in order to devise a strategy so let me just go here and from here let me just zoom in so here on the chart we can see that there is the formation of a falling wedge pattern okay you can see the for formation of these swings and these swings continue to become smaller and smaller and converge into this uh, small area so from here there was a big swing then there there was a small swing then there again another small swing and there's very little swing or small swing here okay which is basically the formation of falling wedge pattern which means that now some activity is going to happen in the market okay so this is basically our part of combination of the par parabolic SAR indicator and the price action using the price action and combining both these we can devise a strategy okay so from here we can see that this candle is breaking out the trend line which is forming here with on the falling wedge pattern okay this candle closed above the trend line which basically means now the market has decided to go bullish okay and we can also confirm about that by the seeing the formation of these three dots below the candles okay so these you can see these three dots forming below the candle which means that now the trend is going to go bullish so from here to here you can see a very big impulsive move okay so this area here which is our breakout zone okay or breakout level is will act as our entry point for our trade okay and after that what we need to do is we need to continue to observe the formation of these small dots either they're above or below the candles because now we're taking position or entering into a bullish market what we are doing is basically we're gonna buy the currency pairs okay so we need to look for if it is forming if these dots are forming above or below the candles to see how we can where we can put our take profit so here you can see that there is continuation continuous formation of these dots below the candles which means that the bullish trend is prevailing and is very strong in the market from here to here okay and there's formation of this one dot above the candle as well which basically does not confirm the trend reversal at all okay the trend reversal will only be confirmed when we see the formation of three dots above our candles so we can see that again from after forming one dot above the candle the market decided to go bullish and we can see the formation of these dots below the candles okay but here our entry level was here and here we can see the formation of these three dots which are above the candle which means now the trend has reversed from bullish to bearish which confirms our analysis and this level will act as our take profit level okay so you will need to put your take profit or take profit at this level so let me just revise what we just discussed and what we went through in this video we went through how parabolic SAR indicator works and we combined it with price action. The way the parabolic SAR indicator works is it forms small dots either below or above the candles. The dots below the candles represent that the bullish trend is prevailing and the dots above the candles rep represent that the bearish trend is prevailing in the market. Okay, And you cannot judge or decide the trend reversal by just one dot. Okay or you cannot confirm the direction of trend by just one dot you need to at least look for three dots there should at least be formation of three dots either below or above the candle so that you can decide if the market is going bullish or bearish and here we combined our par parabolic SAR indicator with the price action by using this example where there is a formation of falling wedge and then there is breakout with the combination of this price action and parabolic SAR indicator, we are able to decide where we should take our entry and where we should take our profit. Okay, so I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Also, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you will be the first one to know whenever we upload new content. You can also visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about Forex and price action. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.